Things we'd like to paint here. AOS edition. Yes. Yes. Let's decide if we're going to paint all these AOS armies one day. Yes, there are lots of them. Um, we're just going to preface this, I think. We saw Poor Hammer did this for uh, 40k, where they ranked their favourite 40k armies, and we thought we'd love to do that, but for AOS instead. Yeah, we will do a 40k one eventually. Eventually, down the line. But AOS we're in a really, really nice spot with at the moment. We're having a great time with it. Uh, fourth edition's only around the corner, um, so this feels probably about as important as ever for us. I don't know, it feels like this is just going to enable us to just have more armies. That's a good thing. There's, right, so at the point of recording, we've just had the Sunday preview of all the Flesh Eater Court stuff, a new vampire box, we've just had all the Old World stuff that you don't care about. It's fantasy fueled right now. Yeah. We will preface so this. Good. I'm anticipating that this might be a slightly longer video. Because, yes. as they did uh, over at Warhammer when they did the 40k one, um, we have to agree in the tier that they go in. So this isn't a tiered system for both of us. Yeah, we're just not very good at agreeing on some things. No, it's just you just never know that you're wrong. I know when I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> and that's now. Right, so what we're going to do is go through all of our tiers and what it's like from top to bottom, and then we will go for it. Are you ready? Let's get into it. So, first up is Disciples of Zeech. I really like this army a lot, but it's because I've been playing uh, the AOS game on Xbox. Okay. Um, what tier are you initially thinking? I think these are a beer, a, a beer tier? Beer tier? <laughs> B tier army for sure. I think they've got some cool, they've got some really cool units in. Um, I think for me, I've never really seen quite a grim dark paint scheme for them. You can't really, because they're so bright and colourful. So my scheme that I did them for on the game um, was they were all like really um, dark charcoal grey. You're wrong. Boring. Um, charcoal grey <laughs> with um, like bright pink uh, glowies and flames. Also like budget Emperor children. <laughs> no, but also yes, I suppose. Um, but yeah, no, I, I really like them. I think they've got a lot of potential and also the Lord of Change is amazingly cool. See, I'd want to put these in Nope. Really? Yeah, because trim. There's not that much trim on them. Still some. So we could, you so think we... it is at Christmas? You just, <laughs> you mad. Okay, so if we put them in, if I had to, with it's then in the middle. Okay. Right, so I don't agree. That's where it's going. <laughs> What's that? Disciples of Zeech has gone into if the if I had to tier. What's next is the Sons of Behemoth. Oh, this is gonna have to be if I had to. Yeah, so this is all, all of these are based on the painting, not how we feel about the army. Yeah, for sure. Like there's a lot of promise in uh, the AOS army, some more than others, but Sons of Behemoth is such a slog. It's the amount. It's the amount of flesh. So I'm going to agree with you that they need to go into it if yeah. I had to. They're definitely not no because I think they are really, really cool, especially the Mega Go models. But you have to spend so much time on one model. Yeah, I think it's the build time as well. But because when I built mine, just one, and you need multiple for an army, it took me a very, very, very long time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's an if I had to. So. Ogre Moor Tribes, and I'm going to come right out the bat from this. This is a, a one-day army for me. Really? A one-day? Yeah. The ma the mammoths are really cool. Like the frost... What are they called? Frost horns or stone horns? Frost horns, horns yeah. yeah. The, rest of the, the rest of the range, not so much. It's, so maybe it is B tier. It's strange, isn't it? Because they are a bit of a potato tier, and they, they came out when back in Warhammer Fantasy Battles, and they never really got updated. I have a feeling in 4th edition for AOS they'll certainly have a, a bit of a range refresh, um, which is something that I'm looking forward to. Um, what are your thoughts on the army as a whole? I wouldn't want to paint the peoples that are on them. Um, so what, the, we... the, the ogres yeah, themselves? Yeah, it's, it's the mammoths that I want to paint. Ah, oh, right, so you don't care about ogres at all, you just no, like I mammoths. About, yeah, which is why I think maybe oh, they need to go in B tier. Yeah, no, I, I was always going to put them in B tier for me, because um, I really like the concept i just don't like the ogres in general yeah i know what you mean yeah but yeah b turns out uh next up is beast men of chaos nope 
Right, is this from painting, or is this because of the potato models? Well, both, in conjunction with each other. I think I wouldn't enjoy painting them because the models are bad. And I think that, again, like we mentioned in the, the bottom five video, like the concept of them is great, and if they just had great models, they'd probably in if I had to, but they don't. So yeah. It's like, no. Yeah. What? Are you, do I've, you have any thoughts? No, on that? they're going in notes. Yeah, they're in notes. I don't. I just don't want to paint the, the 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 beastiness. You know what? If we took away the the terrain piece, the terrain piece, the the terrain pieces in Super Duper Yes Me Please. Oh but yeah, every, but everything else is in there. Maybe we should add an icon. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, to put, just, just put the terrain in there. The, the the bull rock is at the top. Right, I'm um, going to preface this. There's an argument now coming. Oh, it's cities of Sigma. <laughs> so I want to I want to put these in Nope, <laughs> and I know that you want to put these in Super Duper Yes Me Please. Yeah, because some of the, the latest models are just phenomenal. Um, I'd want to paint the Manticore, so maybe they can't go in Nope. So if you were given like an Age of Sigma, Cities of Sigma, pardon me, army, just out of the out of the gate, what colours would you use for the army? It'd have to be it'd be browns and stuff because they have they've got a lot of like wooden shields. It'd be metallics for the trim. So you wouldn't go like any colours at all. I don't know. I'd, maybe red. Yeah. So like the box art. Like the box art. Yeah. Um. I I really yeah they just don't do it. I think. I like the pistol. Not, not the pistols. Like the. The, the, guns, the gunners the don't. And... Yeah, but that's from a miniatures, more from a miniatures perspective. I don't. Yeah. They don't look like they'd be fun to paint for me. Yeah, they they are a very pretty army. Like there's a lot of detail in small minis. Is that just not for you at all? No. Oh man, that's such a shame. And they're peoples, but then that's, that, that's judging the army, not the not if I'd want to that's paint. Such one. a shame. I but I want to paint. I want. Yeah, but I want to paint the manticore. I'd love to paint that. Should we concede and go beat here? No, because they're not B tier, they're good. They're so good. I think, right, so... Okay, I tell you what, I'll, I'll, add in a, I'll add in a rule for this. You can have a one, you can veto the other person, and you, you can choose. Uh, so you can you can null and void my, my thing. I just think... You get one of them. Okay, so my argument would be, if you really liked the Manticore... Would it be a one day project? The Manticore would be a one day project, which is why I, which is why I would put them in B tier. So they've come, they've come up from Noak's last year. Even back. like the ogre with his like, nope. his like little nest in the back with the guy with the gun, doesn't do it for you. The pack of like dogs, like the hunting squad with the dogs. Just veto me and put them in Super Duper Yes, please. No, they should be in one day because. I'm not putting them in one day. Uh, I'm saying beat here. Is that like your final thing? Yeah. Then I'm gonna veto it and go one day. So you're gonna right, hang on. So you're gonna you are gonna use your veto to ignore me and not put them where you yeah, want to. Because them. I wanna be fair at the same time. Like going super duper yes me by right, fine. You, no, can keep, you, don't you can it. keep your veto and I'll put them in one day, because otherwise we'll we'll be here for one day. <laughs> I re look, I really, really like the army and there are some really wicked uh, variations, I suppose, uh, within the model range. Yes. Um, there's a lot of old fantasy stuff still in there, which it, some of it's potato-y, some of it's not, but yeah, I think just across the board, there's some really, really nice uh, opportunities for some great paint schemes. And the only reason that I've vetoed it to one day rather than Super Duper SP Please is because I've been building mine currently for Old World. Um, and yeah, I you made them into Bretonians, haven't you? Yeah, sort of, which is, which is a bit difficult. It's quite tricky, but I have been really enjoying it. I haven't painted them yet, which is why I can't veto it to Super Duper SP Please. Okay. So I've tried to be like as authentic as possible here, and also well, that was quite a short argument. <laughs> but also, you'd never be super duper yes, me please for these because they're people. Yeah, you hate people. I hate people. <laughs> people are the worst. People are the worst. Right. What's next? Right. Even e F T Ken. Nope. Nope. Why? There's Do you not a like the, no <laughs> the grim dark Aquaman Little Mermaid. No, mashup. I mean I'd, I'd potentially want to paint the turtle thing, but the rest of it I just. Do you really hate them? I just don't, I don't like them. They I, weren't even in your bottom five. No, I, I think the army is uh, the army concept is cool. It's I don't want to paint them. But you'd never paint them. I don't, I just don't want to paint them. I'd like to paint the, the turtle, that'd be it. And, and I know you did them as a commission, didn't you? I did do them as a commission, but I'll be honest, towards the end, it was a slog. You also covered your bases in um, some really not safe for work <laughs> stuff, didn't you? I looked it. 
Yeah, you couldn't so, post it on Instagram. So, when, <laughs> so whenever you post clear water texture, like the paste, um, it's like bright white and it takes a long time to go fully clear. Yeah. So we'll leave this with you, YouTube. If you were to leave a white paste that takes a long time to go clear, the mid bit before it totally cured looks a bit sus. Yeah, they're not. They're we not won't great. post the pictures. Um, <laughs> Where do you want to put them? I'd put them in if I had to, because in that case I did have to. Um, <laughs> and honestly... The turtle looked like a lot of fun to paint. Yeah, I, th I think the thing is, if I was to paint them again, I'd do them in a totally different scheme. Mm. Um, but I'm not like totally enamoured with the models to paint them. Okay, let's go if I had to. If I had to, I think is a fair one. Flesh eater courts um, are going in super duper, super duper, yes me please. Hooray! We agreed! We agreed! Yeah, those Next. models are fire. <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's talk about those for a second. They would be amazing fun to paint. Yeah, the Mad King looks, there is some unholy kit bash potential in that guy. Yes. Yeah, I'm about to upset the internet, that's for sure. Just take off his face, put like the lion's head on it or something, and you've got like a Luther <laughs> demonic. Lion. Yeah. D demonic Luther would be sick as hell though. Don't do it! I don't know if he is demonic. No, he's, he's not. He's not demonic. Yeah, he's not anywhere near that, I don't think. But yeah, uh, we're talking about 40k then, AOS setting. Stupid! Um, but yeah, no, I really, really like the. Um, it took all of range. your willpower to not buy the army box. Yeah, and you know what? Like, I'm still like, oh, no. I keep seeing it in stock. And yeah, I like... do, I do. And you know what? They are beautiful, but I think I would love to, but maybe we'll do it as like a challenge or as something in the future. I like would we'll do like a whole AOS army in a day or something. Yeah. Because this would be super hard, but it will also be an army that we both really, really like. Yeah, that'd be cool. So that would be really sweet, but yeah. Next up is the Slayers of the Fireness. I'm curious to hear what you think on this. I'd like to paint, I would like to paint one, but yeah. only one. So I feel exactly the same way um, because I would not do it the way everyone else has done it. Would you not give them orange hair? No. And, ha and hand me down robes? No, I'll tell you what I would do. I would, no, I just have a family full of Weasleys. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what I would do. I'd give them uh, like, gr uh, like black, grey, brown, or blonde hair, or like the odd ginger one, and give them all tartan so they're all Scottish. And I do like a like a green grass base. Yeah, like, that would be wicked fun. You could make some make some bagpipes out of like. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I would love. Yeah, you know what? Super do BS with no, <laughs> no, no, certainly not. For me, it's B tier. B tier, B tier for sure. Just because like, I'd like to paint one. Yeah, just a Scottish fire slayer. I think that'd be great. So yeah, I I would paint one as in like a like an eighties punk rocker. I'd put like. Oh, like a nose ring in and have like electric blue hair. <laughs> That'd be sick. And what, you could give them like all tattoos yeah. and stuff. That would be really I sweet. I love mom. Yeah, mom, but mom in the heart. <laughs> oh, fantastic. What's next? It's the Gloom Spike Gits. Oh, uh... So, I quite like these. I'd like to paint what? I can't remember the name of the kit. The one with the two squigs. The Mangler Squigs. Yeah. Hmm. That's a wicked miniature. And the Loon Corp for Underworld is so weird. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. I wild. nearly bought that. Do you remember? Oh, I had, Warhammerworld. Yeah, I had Warhammer it on my hand and you were like, why are you buying that? Underworld does rubbish. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, funnily enough, we did look at our lowest performing videos today. Um, and Underworld has risen. And it's no longer the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> people like Underworlds! They don't. But people like Underworlds! Um, but yeah, no. Give me some gets, where do you want to put them? So just out of the bat, where would you put them? Beat it. See, for me they'd be if I had to. I don't get it. I don't. What, I what's don't not get to get? It. They're small little goblin things with like Halloween costumes on. Yeah. Th maybe that's what I mean, I don't get it. I think... I wouldn't want to paint the rest of the range. All I don't, of the squ there's so many squigs that look the same and all the goblins look the same Yeah, I think I'd, I'd only want to paint the Loon Court and I'd only want to paint the Mangler squig thing. So, so maybe it, they do is have... It, to, is, I it think or is it beer? I keep saying beer. What's wrong with it? Is it B tier or is it if I had to? I think it's B... I think it's... No, I'm going to I'm gonna renege that. I think it's if I had to. Because realistically, I'm never going to go... 
and buy a mangler squig. I'm never going to go buy the. I'm not no. going to buy the loon core. It's only going to be if we draw them on like a challenge. I think. Yeah. Well, in which case is if I had to. Yeah, for sure. And I suppose loon court could probably be incorporated into Hero Hammer at some point. <laughs> you knock that out easy in a day. Oh, there you go. Imagine all the points for that because lots of models. Um, but yeah, that's that's for future us problem. Um, next. Next up is Blades of Corn. It's corn. Um, if I had to, if I'm honest. Hmm. Wow, no, actually, I can't. Oh. Can't put them there because oh. the army does include the Bloodthirster. I don't like the model. The Bloodthirster model? Well, you're wrong. No, I think it's Cheeks. I think. Oh, it's, no, it's, it's, it's old. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just think the. There's no way it stays on that base either with that tiny pen. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is with the corn models. For me, it's if I had to. I think some of the, like, corn berserker, I suppose, esque looking models, I think some of those are really cool. And there's the. The Lord with the dog, yeah, yeah. was it that was in the start collecting box? He's lush. I, I absolutely would paint him, but everything else, I'm just like the AOS Lord Invocatus yeah. thing is pretty cool. The what's right, that? the rider thing, but that's still a blood letter on it, is it? Yeah, I think so. Blood letter is that what it's called? I think yeah, the, yeah. They're the smaller ones. And there's the chariot. The chariot's right. I just yeah. really wouldn't want to play paint any blood letters. So I think it yeah, is if I same. had if I had to. Yeah, it's gonna have to be if I had to. But yeah, oh dear. There's a lot of if I had to's in this. Yeah, I think we've been too harsh. Yeah, I think we're... Uh, no, I, I did. No. Uh, next up is the Maggotkin of Nurgle. This does include the Great Unclean one, which both of us would love to paint. Mm. There are some really lush models, actually, in that range. For me, it's B tier, because it's it's certainly better than everything in If I Had To. Um, and I... Purely for the Great Unclean one. Do you really like that model I love as well, it. don't you? Yeah, crap. And it looks... I, this could be completely wrong. It looks easy to paint. I know that, that that model has got some some tricks up its sleeve. Like it, it's I just I think it, it, yeah. it looks too easy. And I think I'd paint it and I'd be like, oh no, what have I done? I think I think it's one of those ones I'd go, oh, I'll just buy one and paint it in a couple of hours. I think you'd open it and go, Oh my, there's a lot of folds to, lot to of folds. folds to pick out. There's all the <laughs> you chubby, bits on the front. You chubby it's, bunny. Um yeah, yeah beat I, it, I think. I think um, it's similar with most of the Nurgle range, isn't it? When you look at it on the surface, you're like, oh, that's quite simple. But the amount of like tiny little maggots or little flies or little boils or whatever that you'll find, you're like, oh no, yeah. <laughs> this is taking up all of my time. Next up is a, dan is a very dangerous one. Okay. Um, it's the Night Haunt. And I'm going to tell you now, these are in one day for me. You know what? Because of the black coach. I was going to go B tier, actually, because I'd really like to paint... I think she's called La Lady Oleander. That's, that's I don't, don't, don't quiz me on a AOS names. I'm bad enough for 4K names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, they've got some really, really beautiful models, actually. And they've also got Nagash, so... Yeah, yeah. they're good. They're they're good. Nice. I think one day is quite a nice one. We could absolutely crack out a Nightmare Army. I, th I think... I think it's. I mean, I've said this a few times. I think they're quite easy to paint. They look. They look like if you've got an airbrush, you pick out the the yeah. OSLE bits on a black cape, and you you know you've got I most of it done. I think you could really make it more complicated than it needs to be, but yeah. the results would only be better. Also, as a side note, and we talk about him a lot, but Fletch's black coach, the base thing that he made for that was absolutely wild. Yeah, everything that guy touches just turns to gold. It's a the guy. He's a joke. He is, well, I mean that in the nicest possible way. He's, yeah, very, he's very talented. Yeah. Right, next up. Next up is the... Or a war uh, class. Yeah, we have to... Okay. Right, so, do, this, do so this... Are we splitting this? No, it has to go together. Okay. Because if this was Iron Jaws, it'd be one day. And if it was... And if it's Cruel Boys, it's nope for me. There's such a disconnect. So and I know that you're the other way around. Yeah, so I've painted Iron Jaws before and I, do, I did like painting them. I do like painting them, and I really I do like their range. Uh, their new models as well, I think, were great. Um, I would paint all of these one day. All of them would be one day, and for you, if that sits in, if I had to or B tier, uh, I just uh, need to know now. I wanna, I want to paint a more crusher. So is that B tier or is that one day? Don't forget, you still got a veto. I'll go one day because the one amount of, the amount of Iron Jaws kits does outweigh the Crawl Boys for me. See, I yeah, I, so I've got loads of Crawl Boys kits just sat waiting around in, on sprues. Like I could, 
knock out a 2,000 point Chrome Boys army very, very quickly. Um, I love them. Have you got your Stormbringer magazine with M the More Crusher in you? Is that, that was on there? That, yeah, so that will be arriving at some point. I'm not sure when, but that is going to have some Crow Boys on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, absolute sacrilege. <laughs> I just think they're so cool. Oh. I really love them a lot. Right. Yes. This next mm. one, if you'd have seen our bottom five AOS armies, yep. it was the bottom. It's the Skaven. Yeah. I mean, this this is really conflicting for me because I don't, as I talked about in the other video, I won't rehash that. I don't, I don't like rats and mice. Yeah. However, yeah. like the Vermi Lord thing does look like it could be good fun to paint. Yeah, I know I'm going to be painting some later in the year. This if if rumours are true, which they tend to be at the moment, for me they're sat in if I had to because they're not nope. I think <laughs> they're not no because you're gonna have to exactly. Um, I think one day. I just think what you could paint them as could be good. I th I don't know. This I'm so conflicted because some of as you just said, like the Vermin Lord or whatever, he's wicked cool. Yeah. But all of like the clan rats and the just, smaller ones. I don't want. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to paint them. Yeah. You're you're really passionate about this, aren't you? I just don't like rats and mice. <laughs> Stuart Little was a hard watch for you as a kid, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Stop enjoying him! <laughs> He's a rodent! Terrible. Um, yeah, I, I'm saying if I had to. Which I'm surprised at, because for me it was going to be nope, but I'd like to give it a pun. I can't put the, I can't put them any higher than either one of those two, just based on one mini. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, it'd be fun, I think, to give it a try. I think I'd... Fine, then go in if I had to, but I feel dirty doing it. It's only appropriate. Yeah, let's not talk about them anymore. Right, next up is a super super duper easy yes me please. It's the Stormcast Tales. I'm not even going to ask you what you think. Oh, is this your veto? No, just next. <laughs> no! <laughs> where, do, where would you want to put Stormcast? I'd, for me, they're one day. I don't think they're super duper yes me please. I think even the dragons, which are phenomenal models... I just don't think they're super duper yes me please. I think they're one day. Fine, they can be in one day. I mean, I am doing them one day because I'm literally painting you them. You are painting them, yeah, um, slowly but surely amongst the To be fair, I think for some for some of these, I think if you've already got the army, I don't think your opinion can matter in this in this setting. I know what's to come, and yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> What's next? Uh, next up is Sylvaneth. Um, I do have a Sylvaneth army on the go, so I will concede to what you want to put them in. Okay, well, I'm curious to what you think. Is it well, super, super duper yes, me please, because I've literally got them. Yeah, I would really like to paint them as well at some at some stage. Yeah, but do you want to put them one day, or are they yes, I want to paint them definitely? Well, um, super duper yes, me please. Yeah, I'd really like to paint the bug man at some point. Yeah. Yeah, for me, they're super duper yes, me please. They're such a beautiful... Army, I think, because I'm just not very good at painting wood. I oh, easy. Struggle. I I was re when I first started painting mine, I was really scared about painting the wood, um, and then I did it, and then I oh, it wasn't actually too bad. Okay. Airbrush is actually a friend and dry brushing. Love that. Love that. Yeah. Super duper. Yes, me please. Um, next up is a is another hard one because Go on. uh, it includes Archaon. Slaves to Darkness. Now. Uh... Archaeon is a super duper yes me please I'm going to paint that mini one day yeah. Bellacore is a super duper yes me please one day Eternus is probably B tier maybe one day the rest of it not so much like the Ogroid hemorrhoids Ogroid hemorrhoids? <laughs> alright whatever they're called <laughs> they're called Ogroid pterodons are they? yeah <laughs> <laughs> Ogroid pterodons oh my word oh, yeah it caught me caught me off guard um, for me they're B tier why? Because they're similar, in a, in a similar vein to Chaos Space Marines and 40k, they are a blank canvas which you can just paint in whichever colour is your preference. So for example, if I chose to do the off-white and black trim like I do with the Chaos Wolves, I'm sure they'd look loads cooler than they do now. However, they also have Archaeon, they also have <laughs> Bellacore, they also have um, Sweet 
Pony Up Eternus or whatever his name yeah. is. It's those They've three got... minis that really dragged them out of the dirt. Yeah, that's it. Like, if it was just them on their own, I'd be like, yeah, I could take it or leave these. I'm really not bothered. But because there are some incredible minis in there, I just think that they deserve They're either B, they're B tier or one day, I think. I think because they're not... Because, I mean, just off the bat, is the range as good as... Stormcast as Nighthorn as no yeah, so, so there you go B, there, there's B the tier. logic it's, yeah, it's B tier, it's B -tier. Um, next up is the Osraak Bone Reapers um, I'll come right out the gate and say I want to put these in Nope which is feels awful because I love this army to death I just absolutely do not want to paint that much bone Oh, I mean, I know yeah. I could dry brush it. It's just I know I would not. I would not have fun painting them. I think I'd have fun painting Kratos, the 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 dire the armor guy. guy. Yeah. But everything else. That's mad, isn't it? Because everything in there is well, not everything, but the majority of the models are either mega cool or just beautiful to look at. But they're all just the same. Yeah, there's so it's the it's like I keep saying it's oh. the volume of bone. I want to put I want to put them in nope. Oh, that's so hard. Every time I've seen them, I've been like, I think you're right. It's I, the, honestly, yeah. you're right. They're gonna have to go in nope. Oh, that feels like such a disservice, doesn't it? Yeah, it's they're in. Nope. Are we controversial? I think we are <laughs> controversial among our own show. <laughs> Yeah, wow. I ne I, I didn't expect that. This the, right. The, we'll leave them there because I think we're we'll talking them out of note. I want to paint Sons of Behemoth more than Bone Reapers. <laughs> yeah. I want to paint Skaven more than Bone Reapers. Oh, I've got yeah. learning all the things about each other today. I, I think I've got soft brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. The, this one could be This one could be contentious. All right. It's the Caradron Overlords. I mean, we don't like the. We're not massive fans of the army in general. No. But in terms of painting them, I reckon you could get these out very quick. Similar to Stormcast Eternals, metallic spray or under coat, dry brush, pick out some purple, done. See, I'd want to really try and go. You've never really tried. You're always just like, how can I get there the fastest and make it look good? That was the. The most savage personal attack I've been subject to for quite some time. <laughs> that that really that really cut deep. You've never tried. I'm sorry, Dad. I mean, Kieran. I really like that you've never tried. Is it you've never gone? I'm going to edge highlight these. I'm going to go. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry, that's not. Snazzy. Sorry, let me let me est uh, establish a rebuttal. Um, I don't. Divorce is isn't isn't on. <laughs> I'll kill you. Um, I'd really like to paint them as like pirates. Oh. That could be really fun. That could be fun. So not like Chaos Caradron, but more like your anti-hero. I wouldn't want to paint the balloons. No, I think so. Because they're all like metallic plates anyway, mm. you could just do loads of glyphs and... I don't know. Yeah. Like pirate ships, I mean, skull and crossbow. I mean, I don't, don't want to put them in there because I want... I want. I still have to paint one one day to see you try. Uh, maybe if I have to, then. Okay. Yeah, because I think they're more fun than the other two in Nope. Um, whether they're more. Oh my god, we want to paint Caradron Overlords more than Bone Reapers. Yeah, there it is. Look at us. What's better than this? <laughs> Next up is a dangerous is a dangerous one. See, I I actually wanted to talk to you about this today. It's the Lumineth. Mm. Since doing the when I was editing the top five AOS armies, I was like, oh, yeah. I'll go have a look at the range. So, and I was like, oh, it's the cow mountain. So, it's the bigger cow mountain. So it's I, the fox man. So I was watching um, the Square Based show. So if you don't know that, uh, it's the Honest Wargamer um, does like his own old world show. And he was telling people about somebody had done Lumineth Realm Lords as High Elves for Warhammer Fantasy. So I went on socials and I did a bit of digging and I looked at it. And wow. I, th I have the th feeling that they might, if I was to paint them, I think they might break me because they're, uh, mm. they look. They are delightful models. And cow mountain. <laughs> yeah. 
I th they're really, really, they're a really interesting topic because it's like, I'd, 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 I'd love to give one a go, but I just know that I feel like it would put me in the ground. Do you think it's a super duper yes me please? No, it's definitely not that high. But I think it's, it's definitely a, a one day. I think it's a one that I want to paint. I, I, yeah. I think I'd like to go down that rabbit hole and see how horrible of an experience it is. Because we did get a few comments on the, the AOS uh, top five armies that people are going, Luminor, uh, Luminords? Luminords sounds like a wicked army name. Luminords is cool. Uh, the Lumina broke them in a, in a similar fashion. Yeah. They didn't have... It wasn't as enjoyable. So I think... So they're just... They're just lush. Like, all the... The mounted models, be it on horses or the kangaroo things, like yeah, there's just a lot of range with them, um, and I think you could have a lot of fun. I don't think I would paint the the bright white and blue metallic feel to them. I just think, although the clean look would re obviously like evidently works, because I suck at that, I don't think I would paint them like that. Yeah, I think they're gonna to have to go in one day because I think I'd like, I'm gonna scratch the itch one day. Um, yeah. I did nearly buy their army box when they first when it first came out. As well. Really? Yeah, it was, it was, they were nearly my first bit into AOS. You know what would be fun is when we went to Warhammer World later in the year. If you just picked up one character model, oh, you can't just buy one character though, especially when you're at Warhammer World and you've just gone around the museum. Well, that's what happened with you and the bug people. Exactly, you can't <laughs> just buy one. Oh no, I have an army now. <laughs> So funny. So, judging by the rule I set earlier, this yeah. next one we can't actually vote on because both of us have an army. Super duper, yeah, super, yes. Super duper, Seraphon me please. Seraphon, Seraphon me please, sounds sus. Yeah, dinosaurs, Seraphon, they're all great. Yes please, times a hundred. Everything in there is great. Yeah, I don't, we've painted them, we've both got an army. Um, I don't think we need to stay up. We did, we did a good 10 minutes on Seraphon in the, yeah. in the other video. 10 out of 10, move along. I get the decision on the ne on the next next one though, because you've got an army of these. I'm really curious to hear what you think. So it's the Soulbite Soulbite Grave Lords. I'm going to I'm going to crush you now. They're not a super duper yes me please. Uh, I don't think they're one day. <laughs> I mean, I could. Can, I, can I ask why? It's. Like the blood knights are amazing. Um, mm. It's the ghoulish flesh, mm -hmm. and I don't want to paint the direwolves. I don't know why you had fun painting them. I don't know what kind of unhinged human so, enjoys that. So when I say I enjoyed them, I cracked them out crazy fast. Okay, I have thirty for reference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put them in B tier. Okay. They, most of the range for me is in if I had to. Like Lao Kavai or whatever it is, I wouldn't want to paint that. Belladonna on the wolf thing, I think it's a pretty crap mini. It's one of my favourites. I know it is. Warhammer, let alone AOS. That mini is a nope just because I don't understand it. Oh, it's just so sick. <laughs> yeah, Soul by Grave Lords are in B tier. I don't. I re. <laughs> Really, uh, move on, move on. Right, the next. To be fair, the ne the next two are pretty meh for me. Okay. Um, first up is the uh, Daughters of Cain. Where would you put them? I really don't know. I'm just instinctively. Where would you put them? B tier, because I don't really, yeah. I don't really have any, I don't have any feet. I don't, I don't look at them and go, I don't want to paint them. I don't, but then on the flip side, I don't look at them and go, I want to paint that. I think I would like to paint them at some stage, but not like a one day. I think I'd be like, I think I'd like, let's I'd, give it a crack. I think I'd like to build, maybe paint one, just to see what, yeah, see what the deal is. Yeah, yeah, um, for sure. I, I, I think for me, B tier is fair. I think any higher than that wouldn't be. Yeah, because there are other B tier armies that I'd probably prefer to paint more of than I would uh, DOK. Yeah. So. Okay. Right, we're on to the last one, which is the Hedon Knights of Slash, and I want to put these in Nope. What? Why? That's my instinctive one, because I don't want to paint the fiends and the bits that are hanging off them, and the weird oh, well, but, so tongues. So it's gone from like a... Um, like a technical standpoint, because they're so like intense to paint. 
Yeah, and it's also, I don't want to paint what's on them. Yeah, it's, it is a massive challenge. Um, there, I, they, I, they, they could be wrong, so leave us a comment if you do have a, a Sloan Ash Army for Age of Sigmar. They look like they're hard to get yeah. right. Yeah, I the greater de- the the greater demons are pretty cool. Um, see, for me, um, the the greater demons are like Shalaxi Hellbane and the Keeper of Secrets and stuff. Is that what it's called? I think that's right. Yeah, um, I think is I they are my favourite greater demons. They are just beautiful to me. Mm. I think they're so so good. Um, so, because obviously we can't base it off one mini, they're B tier for me, but... <laughs> I'm also just conscious we've got a lot in it if I had to. <laughs> yeah, it's it's tough, isn't it? Um, I, think they are, I think they are, and if I had to. Because I wouldn't mind playing it. The Great Demon's got a pretty, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think the Great Demon is probably the only thing out of that range that I'd Yeah, like and the weird guy in the carriage, don't want to paint that. Oh, the guy from 300. <laughs> Yeah, he looked. I thought he looked really cool. I have, I've actually seen a kit bash. You won't care, but I've seen a, a kit bash of somebody painting him up as a like a vampire. So oh, he's yeah. like like uh, like just eating people, and I was like, that's wicked. Um, so, but yeah, the only other miniature in that range is is uh, Sigvald Burgundy. It's not his name. It's just the color that's named after him. Oh yeah. Um, I might give him a crack. Turn him into Fulgrim. I think uh, I'm not crazy about him at all. I don't get the hype. For me, it's a if I had to. Um, what I would like to do now, now that we've done it, let's review. Quick, review. Yeah, and then we can go for for final placing. So I think starting from the top because it's the easiest bit. Super duper yes, me please. Flesh eater courts. Flesh eater courts are staying where they are. Excellent. Silver net. Staying where they are. Staying where they are. Excellent. Seraphon. Let's not talk about them. Excellent. Because uh, we've nailed it. Yeah. Good. Look at us. Look at what, we're nailing this. One right. day. This is where it gets tricky. One day. It is the Sigma. Um, do you think they are one day or do you think they're B tier? Vetoes aside, what do you think? B tier. Because I don't. I don't. I don't want to paint. I only want to paint the Manticore and going through the rest of them. Miniatures that had one thing I wanted to paint went into if I had to. The only reason they're in one day is because you want to put them in super duper. Yes, me please. Okay. Uh, I. Let's leave them where they're... We shouldn't, change, we shouldn't change too many. If, this. Okay, fair. I, I, we'll I, I feel are. like there's going to be a lot of movement in the next three rows. I don't think we can do too much movement because it's disingenuous to what we just did. Fine. Nighthorn. Nighthorn, staying where they are. Uh, Uruk War Clan. Staying where they are. Uh, Stormcast. Staying where they are. <laughs> <laughs> Lumineth, I think, is solid. Yeah, Lumineth is fine. I think, right, well, I think fine. the one-day tier is fine. Um, B tier. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Yeah, B tier was kind of like the, the, the dumping ground. Yeah, so uh, ogre, more tribes straight off the bat. Yeah, I think they're they're fine where they are. I don't want to paint the ogres, but they do have more than one mammoth type thing that I would want to paint. No, they don't. They have one. No, they've got a couple of different kits. They've got, no, a couple, di- couple of different variants. Sorry, there's a few. Di- I think there's a few different heads in that kit. So there is uh, there is okay. some variation. It's still the same model, I guess. But yeah, uh, they've got the chariot or the catapult thing with that rhino yeah. looking thing and they've got some riders and stuff alright fair yeah BT yeah I think Ogre Mortar is fine where they are Fire Slayers <laughs> for me are these are the ones you want to move I, I don't know like because I think I would really enjoy it but uh, yeah what do you think I think they need to say where they are purely because if I had to is very busy <laughs> I'm fine with it being busy Maggot Kin and Nurgle in the phone where they are. You you were really excited by them. Well, I, I think they've got some great models, I'll be honest. Great models. What's next? Slaves to Darkness. Slaves to Darkness, I think, is uh, B tier. Yeah, I think I'm happy with our initial placing. B tier, I think, is, uh, be, I think it's solid. I know why you want to talk about B tier, because it's the next one that's in there. Yes, yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> you are so wrong. <laughs> It's maddening. <laughs> it's the soul by Grave Lords. Yeah, these are. I, uh, to be honest, I'd just like to see you paint sort of like a vampire in like one day. Where do you want me to put them? Oh, no, because it's, it's, no. it's disingenuous, isn't it? You don't care about them. <laughs> you don't care about me. Uh, Daughters of Cain up next in BT. Yeah, fine where they are. I think, I'd, like, like we said a minute ago, yeah, I think they're. I'd move them down. Really? Yeah, we put them in B, and now I don't think I 
I think they're if, if I had to now. But we didn't have any. I think we didn't have any feelings for them, good or bad. So it's an if I had to. Yeah, I'll pay them if I had to. All right, we'll move them. Yeah, there's a mover. <laughs> we did that once two armies ago. Yeah, I know. I've already changed my mind. Right, that's the end of B tier. Right. B tier is solid. Disciples of Zeech. Yeah, this is the, if I had to tier. Disciples of Zeech, I think they're staying where they are. Fine. Lord of Change, I wouldn't mind paying, but the rest of it, no. Right. Uh, Ogre Moor tribes. This is uh, Sons of Behemoth. No, Sons of Behemoth. They're still Ogre if, things. Yeah, if I had to. If I yeah. had to, for sure. I don't know Deep Kin. Definitely if I had to. Okay, if I had to. I'd uh, potentially want to put them in Nope. Yeah, they're teetering on the edge, aren't they? They're uh, probably the least favourable. Uh, still below Skaven. <laughs> Crazy. Um, Gloom, uh, Gloom Spike gets. Yeah, still the Loon Corn. I just want to bet Manglis. Manglis Quig. Blades of Corn. I can't put them in Nope because of the Bloodthirster. Fine. Skaven. Should be Nope, but they're not. <laughs> Should be Nope, but they can't be. Future reasons. Because judging by all of the. Reasons we we do the Vermi Lord is a, is it looks like a, it could be fun to paint, and that's the only reason we've got disciples of Zinch in there. Is, yeah, because of the Lord of Change. Yeah, right. Uh, Carriage on Overlords. If I had to, because you could have a bit of fun with it. Yeah, right. Uh, Head of Knights of Slanesh again. If I had to, it's yeah. Fine. Doors um, of Cain. Do you want to move them again? Move them again. <laughs> um, Beastmen. I think is a solid note. Yeah, yeah. Um, the one I've, and then the last one in the note. Of the, of this whole review is is the Bone Reapers again, which is a massive shock. Yeah, of all, like, of the, I feel a bit dirty putting them there. Just yeah, I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry that we've done this, um, because they are a lush range. But I just I just, don't just, care. Don't, I just I don't want to paint bone. It's, it's yeah, the, the, the it's crux so of it. Weird, isn't it? I'd rather paint a horde of rats than a horde of skeletons. But I think it's because you know that even if you didn't like the armor, I think you could have fun with it. Whereas the, fundamentally, the bone reapers have to be bone. You can't. I mean, you can paint your miniatures exactly how you want. Because mm. what's really funny about that as well? I cycled back a couple of months ago, and you were actually a bit jazzed to paint tomb kings. Yeah, now I'm not. And now you're like, oh no, that would be I, I, dry brushing bone. Through the magic of text messages and video calls, I watched you paint the bone dragon, and you did not have fun. No, no. It's a lush model, but no. <laughs> yeah, it's I think a lot of bone. Are we are we happy where where everything is? I think so. I think so. And this is probably like a nice way of wrapping up because ultimately like, we want to ask you what your takes are and if there were any changes, what would you make? Because there's a lot here. Um, there's a lot of really really amazing armies. There's a lot of armies that we thought were a bit, you know hot ass when we did our bottom five and they've actually gone up in the if we would paint them this which is, is really surprising now it does make me really excited to do a 40k one because i'd love to see how that compares to yeah, where they ended up in, ended up in the army rankings yeah that's really true because i think i'd make a still nope just saying that <laughs> straight at the bottom um yeah no it's uh it's tough, isn't it? Tyranny is a nope. Tyranny, yeah, Tyranny is a real nope for you. <laughs> I'll do a 2,000 point army. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, this was lush fun. I'd like to do this again for 40k for sure. Um, but We should do it for the... For the um, we could do this for so much stuff. We could do it for the Horus Heresy Legions. Oh, that's true. Alpha Legion, nope. Yeah, there are some I just really wouldn't care about. Ultramarines, no, no. I'm no, just... you can't! Stop it, you... Uh-oh! <laughs> I'm going to put it in the video now, cause, so it's proof that the internet... You played a game with Ultramarines, and you took Robo Girly Man, and you had fun. They're all lies. Scandalous lies. Um, but yeah, thank you very, very, uh, very, 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 very much for watching. Give us a like, give us a, a subscribe, give us a comment. Um, follow all of our affiliate links just down here, and you can buy an Age of Sigmar army of your own. If you love painting bone for your life uh, go get some bone reapers or come and join us on youtube memberships and patreon all of our very fabulous members are here or here wherever i decide to move them this week editing magic um but yeah you guys are the best uh you guys really really help the channel and make all of our content so good stop, <laughs> stop doing that <laughs> i'm excited well, I say excited, I'm not excited, I'm delirious. It's late, and I should go to bed. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. We'll bye. See you. see you, bye. Yeah, that, bye. Love <laughs> you, bye. <laughs>